Messenger. I run the Java SE and Java ME development teams here at Oracle. I really appreciate you coming out. I know it's a day before the conference really starts. First, I wanted to give a uh, thank you to Juniper who's buying our beer tonight. So thank you, uh, Juniper. And um, the purpose of this award, and the purpose of these awards this evening, it's all about recognizing innovation in the community. It's one of my favorite things, actually. I've been to Java One several years. I've never been up here on stage, um, either as an innovator nor as a, as a uh, presenter. But um, I'm very happy to be here and uh, to have all of the folks here, um, again, a little bit before the show starts, um, who are you know, represent the best of, of Java, best of Java community, best of innovation. <coughs> so with that, I have some awards. We have, I think, eight, maybe. The first two are in absentia, though, so I'll go through those quickly, and then we can move on to the uh, to the real meat. <clears throat> so the first one is in a category of uh, innovation in green technology, and the winner is Duap. It's a French company. Thank you. <laughs> Who um, has built a really interesting Java solution for measuring airflow, air leakage inside of residences and commercial buildings. So you can sort of measure uh, what your uh, what your environmental footprint is and um, and where you might be able to save on uh, on heating. <clears throat> so the other one, the second in absentia, is for innovative network program. This is something I'm actually very familiar with. I've I've looked at the code myself, and it's the Neti project, which is a uh, NIO based uh, I/O server model, and. Um, Really, really innovative, great work, so uh, thank you. And now, on to folks who are actually here. So in the category of home automation, we have J-Home, who's uh, built a home automation API. Uh, it's open source, and it's built on top of the Glassfish platform. So uh, thank you, and welcome, J-Home. Everybody won, and uh, you just don't have to carry it around while you're drinking beer. So next up, this is another one I'm actually personally familiar with. This is for innovative programming framework, and it's the LMAX Disruptor, which is a really interesting multi-threaded um, open source platform for concurrent programming, really low latency, really interesting work. So thank you very much. So next up, it's uh, developers scratching their own itch. Always the <laughs> my favorite kind of projects when people wanted to uh, fix something, uh, fix a problem that they had themselves. And that's uh, an innovative tool for developers and JFrog, which is a uh, binary repository manager.
Okay, guys. Uh, thank you, Academy. No. <laughs> this joke is for the J Frog guys that worked like crazy for the last three years to provide you guys with the great tools, and I hope you enjoy Artifactory. Thank you very much. So another in a similar category, developers making tools for themselves, and that's a, uh, a compiler for Java code called JRebel. And uh, JRebel lets you skip different build steps and uh, automate, uh, simplify and, uh, and uh, expedite your deployment process. And this next one, I think, is, is actually really interesting to me, um, partly because it lets us extend the Java community much further than it is today. And that's uh, it's an open source project based on NetBeans that makes uh, Java code development accessible to the blind. And it's called SodBeans. So thank you very much for, for being here this evening. So our next award is in the area of industrial software. And um, this is actually, I think, a really interesting growth area for Java, moving out of the server area into uh, and out of, out of uh, consumer devices into industrial devices. I think it's, a, it's something we're seeing increasingly happening. And this award goes to Inductive Automation. It was built a Java-based web app um, sort of that builds a Java, uh, pardon me, that builds a business scorecard um, for their uh, automation machines. So please. And then we have uh, one more here in the uh, in the community awards section, and that's uh, the project for integration testing, which I think you're, many of you will be familiar with, and it's the Quillian project, uh, which is a really nice, simple way of doing uh, integration testing. So please come on up. So we'd like to accept this award on behalf of the JBoss community. At Red Hat and JBoss, we feel very strongly that innovation uh, and the conversations around innovation come from the community. And so Arcalian is very much a community project, and we want to encourage you to help us innovate to make integration testing simpler.
and now we have uh, one additional award um, in the uh, customer category. And for that, I welcome on stage my colleague in the uh, Java sales organization, Jeffrey Morton. Yeah, yeah, thanks, Adam. So this is the first time we've won an award for, for like business innovation using Java. So it's the first time we're uh, running it. It will be a regular feature in the uh, Innovation Awards going forward. Uh, so for the inaugural winners of the uh, in Innovative Industrial Automation Award, uh, I'd like to invite Rockwell Automation onto the stage, who built or using Java for a human machine interface uh, that allows really uh, automated communication and data exchange. Uh, Rockwell, are, Rockwell Automation are a, a giant in the industrial automation field. So Scott, if you can come on stage. Okay, well, well, thank you very much. Um, I have to be a little bit coy about uh, accepting the award because we haven't announced our product yet. I know it's. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I know it may be a little bit strange, but uh, we actually sometimes run behind on our software development projects. I know that probably never happens at Oracle, but uh, um, I just want to say that uh, you know we will be, in, be announcing our product uh, in the next uh, next month or so at our at our automation fair. And I just wanted to thank uh, everybody here at Oracle for the hospitality at this event. Obviously, it's a great, great thing and a, and a, and a beautiful night. Um, but uh, even more specifically for our company, I just wanted to thank the, uh, the, the, the folks out there that have provided all the support. Uh, it's a great technology that we're adopting uh, for the first time, really, in our company. And uh, at, at, at this point, you know, the quality of the code has been fantastic. And we have nothing but good things to say about our Oracle. So I really want to say thanks to everybody involved. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> All right, so that wraps up the formal portion for right now. I wanted to give you a few, uh, leave you with a few forward pointers for the rest of the week. Um, first, a little stats on attendance. We're way up this year over uh, prior years. I think you'll see it in the uh, in the buzz, and I think you'll see it in the keynote tomorrow. Uh, lots of great announcements uh, coming this week, um, and then a lot of really interesting uh, community presentations. We have over a hundred different companies, or pardon me, 180 different companies represented who are giving uh, presentations, uh, and um, so many of you here, I hope, are giving presentations. And uh, we've got a uh, Duke's Choice Bach uh, coming up, and as well as the Thursday keynote, which is all uh, community members coming and uh, presenting what they're working on in Java. So it's sort of a community keynote, shared um, everyone sharing what they're working on. So that's the, uh, the lineup. I hope everybody has a great week, and uh, stick around and have some beer on Juniper, please. Take care. Have a good evening.